the upcoming Black Panther TV series, aka Black Panther Eyes of Wakanda, will in fact be fully canon to the events of the MCU, says insiders, who are repeating what the executive producer and the guy in charge of Marvel TV said. We know that there are multiple Black Panther spin-offs in development. Of course, one of them is the live-action Ironheart, which is a spin-off, I guess, technically of Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and the Iron Man franchise, but there's always more in development. We know that Ryan Coogler's upcoming Black Panther Eyes of Wakanda is an animated series, but there seems to be at least another one or two in development that we know very little about. Well, recently talking about Eyes of Wakanda, Brad Winderbaum was talking about approaching that world, how they're going to expand the storytelling, show us different corners of the Marvel Universe during different settings, aka, you know, different time periods, and how this isn't exactly being handled like what if. And he says that one of the things that they wanted to do here was tackle a animated series that is fully canon and in continuity with the MCU, where everything that they say matches up and doesn't, in fact, go against other things. So he confirmed that everything will be canon and that this series is not a, hey, you can ignore it and you're going to be just fine. This is going to, in fact, enrich the world and add more context to various things. In my opinion, that's great because I think this is what it was always going to be, right? Nobody thought that the animated series becoming a Black Panther spinoff would be somehow not canon. Ever since they talked about it, they said it would be canon. Now, I don't see why people are not believing this. It literally comes at us from Brad Winderbaum and him saying that him and Ryan Coogler and Marvel Studios decided this. Why do these people need insiders who are many times lying to say, yup, he's telling the truth. Of course he's telling the truth. He told you the truth. Like, it's right there. Um, It's going to be canon. And that's great, in my opinion, because then we can start to fill in some of these gaps with sections of the Marvel world during different years, different decades, different centuries at this point, by the sounds of it, that's going to add a lot more context to what Wakandans were doing and who the Black Panther was at the time. So I'm excited. Just knowing that this is canon opens up the possibilities to introduce more animated characters that could pop up in live action.